ahead and comment so I know who's here with me tonight before I start my rhyme and my flow cause I be going, I be going and hey, hello, here we go. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome or does with me, Kimberly. This is the live where I show you how something caught my eye and it made me click by now. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really whack. Most times I keep it, but sometimes I gotta send it back. Maybe it's just too big, maybe it's just too small. Sometimes it don't do what I thought that it would do at all. Sometimes it's just okay, I mean I'm not in love, which is why I welcome you to watch Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal. gets to sing it back here you know i be trying to follow her vibe let them take care of you deal up duh. then i get lost in my lyrics but i was holding on i was holding on tonight i was holding on welcome to the thursday night edition of deal or dud with me kimberly thank you for following for sharing for liking for commenting all of that ella reese is in the background she's gonna help me with the comments and all of that so y'all you stay engaged y'all know how we do i was feeling myself tonight dun it dun it dun it dun okay i'm back i'm back i'm back welcome to this episode of dealer does please if you could comment if you're here Share if you're here, like the show if you're here. Y'all already know how I like to start. I like to start with my outfit of the day. Is Invisible Boo Jank here tonight? Of course he is. He's standing over here, y'all see him? Hey, Boo. Hey, Invisible Boo Jank. He is already, thank you, Jessica. He is always standing by, waiting to take me on a deal or dud date right after the show. Ain't he handsome? 
Hold on, I gotta turn around and just look at him. Hold on. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, boo. I know. I know. Say hi to the people. He said, Good evening, everyone. He's waiting to take me on a date after the show. So you get to choose where we are going on our date tonight predicated upon the outfit that I am wearing tonight. So I'm going to start with the top and work my way down and show you all these other things that I got for you for the show tonight. Y'all ready? If you're ready, say yeah. That's yeah. what I be saying on, um, what's the show? Where they got to rub the log, Showtime at the Apollo. Does that still come on? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get ready for our date. Let me grab my purse. Hold on. It's right here on the floor. Okay, I got some new um some new new date music tonight, so I'm gonna be trying it out. Okay, and these heels are they they high, so if I fall down on the floor, y'all just gonna laugh with me because I'ma laugh if I don't hurt myself. Okay, go ahead, cue music. <laughs> jeans too that I'm gonna share with y'all when I get to the jeans part okay remind me don't let me forget to tell you about these jeans right here okay I mean I'm gonna tell you about it but don't let me forget to tell you the story about these jeans right here okay they love the outfit somebody said you made they day they, they forgot all about the stress they got at work you did I'm glad I'm glad I could de-stress you and they said work it Kimberly mm, mm, mm. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Woke me up this morning. Thought me on my way. Woke me up this morning. That's why I can say I can do this. Woo! I guess I ain't do too bad in these shoes after all. Yeah, that's a good shot with you right there. I don't know about all that. Woo! Give you a good 10 seconds of shout, and then I got to sit down somewhere. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Ooh, y'all, I forgot my little, my little, <sighs> forgot my little um, mason jar that I was going to show you. Okay, so y'all, the shirt, this is just a simple t-shirt. I guess this is supposed to say whoever make the red bottoms. I don't know how to pronounce the name, nor do I own a pair. These are the only red bottoms that I have today. Maybe somebody will send me some. Is this Louboutin? Is that what that say? Mr. Louboutin, can you go ahead and send me a pair of red bottoms so I can show them on Deal or Dud? Okay, but that is this t-shirt. Let me just back up a little bit for you. <clears throat> 
Let him take care of you. All right, so I really like this t-shirt. I have shown this t-shirt before on a, excuse me, on an earlier edition of Deal or Does. It's been a few months ago, and I still love this t-shirt. Now, when I bought the t-shirt, I thought that it would have some bling actually on the t-shirt from the picture that I saw and it just looked like this and you'll see where the little light spots are I thought that that was actually some kind of crystal or bling but it's not it's just a plain flat t-shirt but I still love it I still think it is very cute the price on it at the time of this live is $14.99 so what a cute look you know what you could do with this right here you could put on like a um a little suit jacket mm -hmm. and cuff the sleeves up a little bit pop your you know how you pop your jacket back like that and put one hand if i would have thought about that i would have brought a suit jacket down here and a little black fedora that i sometimes yeah. rock on the show so. yeah so you can dress this t-shirt up a little bit or go completely casual like i have on tonight i do 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 love it the shirt is a deal the the shirt is a deal. Say what? Say what? The, the shirt is a deal. Say what? Say what? The, the shirt bunch, is a bunch, deal. Bunch, I saw a new bunch. um TikTok dance. What was it last night? Where they go? Uh, I forgot how it started. Oh, they go. And if this damn uh 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 about to fall over. They ain't that part yet. <laughs> and then something else. And if it's this, then it's then they drop it low. If it's this, then it's that. And lean and up, 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 and up, and up, 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 the jeans let me just back up one more time so you can see the jeans and then i'm gonna tell you a little story about these jeans because i owe I, I owe somebody an apology about these jeans hold on give my music back give my give music, back. music back yeah so these jeans i love the jeans i love them they have great great stretch this is a size, it's again, a letter size, not a number size. They are high-waisted, so they come up to my navel. They are closed in the back here, so I don't have any gapping here in the back part. The stretch is phenomenal. Look at the length of them. They're right above my ankle with a little bit of distress right at the ankle part. break it down too far because I won't be able to get up. Okay, so <clears throat> lots of distress here on the thighs. Lots of distress here on the thighs, which I'm loving. I used to not like this look. That's why I owe the girl an apology. I don't even know who the girl was, so I'm going to tell you the story in a minute. The size that I am wearing is a size large, and again, <clears throat> my size is about a 11 and a half, you know, not quite a 10, not quite a 12. So I ordered me a size large, and when I pulled them out of the pack, they looked, you know, it made me to kind of do like that when I looked at them. However, the stretch in them is amazing. So it doesn't stretch like a, a jegging, but it stretches like a jean that has stretch. And so they stretched on now. These, these squares that you see on my thighs, they were small, about like that, when I took them out and they just, they did what they're supposed to do. Now, let me tell y'all why I owe the young lady an apology. I'm sorry, young lady. I don't even know who you are, but I am here to formally apologize to you. So what had happened was, it's been several years ago, maybe about, let's see, it's 2021 now. This was maybe 2014 or 15. Me and the Boo Jank, not the invisible Boo Jank, the he gone from here, Boo Jank. He took me to Cheesecake Factory, which is one of my favorite places to eat, right? So, you know, you go in Cheesecake Factory and you're kind of waiting up there around the booth and all of that. And there was this girl, she had on some jeans that were very similar to this, to this leg right here. 
to this leg that has all the bam, bam, bam. I think her, her holes were a little bit wider. And so I didn't like the look at all. I just thought it looked like, why, why does she have it on? So I made that comment to Invisible Boojank, like, don't let me leave the house like that. And he looked at the young lady and he said, I would never tell you that because I think you're sexy and you could wear anything and you would look good in that look. <gasps> Boo! He can't be Boo Jank right now because, you know, things happen, we're not together. So I'm just gonna call him Boo. Boo! Ah! But I, could, I was doing that on the inside. I really won't do that on the outside, right? I was just like, mm, okay, whatever. However, here it is, five years later, look at the jeans that I got on. I'm sorry, young lady, that I was talking about you in the middle of the Cheesecake Factory, whispering to the, to the boo about the look that you had, and now I'm rocking the look. See, this is why you can't talk about people. This is exactly why you cannot talk about people, because the very thing that you talk about them doing, then you... <laughs> You find yourself doing it. And I think I look cute. And I think I look sexy. Like he said I was going to look. If I rock this look, I'm liking it. Give me some music. Give me some, give me, give me my music. Give me my music. I'm, I'm not going to stand up anymore. I'm just going to dance right here. Feel myself. Yes. This is how you look when you're feeling yourself in jeans. But you got to sit down. I'm sorry, young lady. I don't even know who you are. Never seen you again after that day. I don't think if I did, I didn't know who I was looking at. But you went on to rock that look. You was just some years ahead of me. I take it back. Everything that I said, which I only said that little bit, don't let me come out the house like that. Now, cut my music, fade my music out. Now, the thing, the difference is, I'm not going nowhere today because I don't have nowhere to go. However, if I had somewhere to go, I would show sure go with these jeans and this t-shirt. Now let's talk about the shoes. Thank you, Monique. I just shouldn't have talked about the girl. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna, I'm, I learned my lesson. I'm gonna stop talking about people. All right, so the shoes, y'all, I have on a red stiletto pump, as you saw in my backup. And here is one for you that's comparable. This is not the exact shoe that I have on because I couldn't find the one that I have on. But you know, you, you get inspired by the look, not so much the exact shoe. So I found this one, and this one is really, really cute. It's the Pie Pie by Women. Uh, shoe with a little bow on the back. I think the bow is super cute. Sometimes you just need a little pop of that sexy to go with it. I don't know if I would wear these shoes with these particular jeans because the, the sexy for this outfit is in the is in the thigh pop. Bam, 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 bam. bam, bam. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the shoe comes in about seven colors. Do you have the colors pulled up? The colors the seven color um I know it comes in the red it comes in like a light blue it comes in a beige or a nude color what else does it come in it comes in a blue mm hmm a navy blue or light blue it's a light blue a light blue it's a wine red a wine red uh, you said beige mm hmm khaki yes the red preach black mm hmm a royal like navy blue okay and a uh, leopard print and a leopard print the leopard print is cute too so if you you know like the look you like the shoe you see how you can design it and pop it out as your own you know check the shoe out okay I think it's a great shoe I might have to get that light blue because I had a pair of light blue pumps one time. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what happened to them. I used to love those shoes. Anyway, if you're not in the market anymore for wearing heels or, you know, I would even be careful with uh, wearing these around town or whatever. You know, sometimes it's just not practical. It's okay for standing up in the middle of my living room while I do deal or dud. However, it might not be practical for me for me for running around town right because after a while my feet gonna start hurting and the shoe is going to become uncomfortable however i love the pump but if you need a flat i did find a comparable flat for you or a really nice flat for you the harrents shoes for women they are such a good price right now they have lots of good reviews it has that grip on the sole um, for you. So if you need that extra cushion between your foot and the ground, these offer. And they come in different colors. What's our color choices? Black, khaki, white, red, 
beige, dark blue, and orange. And orange. Seven different color choices for you for a flat and a casual look. <clears throat> I think it will play nicely off of the red tone in the t-shirt. So that is for you. If you, maybe you want to do both like I would do. I would do the heels and the flats depending on where we're going. Y'all look at my finger. I ripped my fingernail off today. Zipping up my jeans. Just, and then I was like, ah, literally. I ain't have time to go get it fixed. And even if I did, it's nothing there to fix. It's nothing there to fix. Like it's it's gone. I can't go get my nails done until until this get rectified right here. Don't talk about me. You don't broke your nail before. These not fake nails. These my real nails. And when they break low like that, whoo! It didn't pop off. It's like my my you know how something be hurting on you, and then when you start talking about it, it start hurting again. I'm gonna leave it alone. Just don't don't talk about this tonight, okay? I was supposed to go get my nails done today, and it just didn't work out. All right, and then I, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> Y'all want to hear all of that story? All right. So next, what I have for you, the bag that I was carrying, I have a comparable bag so that you can always shop the look. So this is my. This is my Dooney and Burke uh, animal print tote. And I really love this bag. Again, it is um, casual. It is comfortable. Just a little pop on your arm right there to bring a little contrast to your outfit. So I do love the leopard print of it. And the other features of this bag, like I said, I found you a look-alike bag that's only $22.49. So you can shop the look. And I, I couldn't find this particular one, not the Dooney and Burke one. I'm sure if you uh, check around, you might be able to find it somewhere. But I'm not going to tell you to go off this, this platform and, and go look for it because then the people would be mad at me. We're not going to do that. I found you a look-alike for $22.49. So right now it is 10% off. So if you like the look, you can grab the look. Now, y'all, this right here, I had to pop up with this right here, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, because you cannot be showing all your thighs and your skin is ashy like my skin likes to be. My skin is very, very, very dry. So I've talked about some other skin products that I really like. I've talked about that before on the show, but you know, when you wanna make sure you pass your ash check, if you know about this here, you know about this here. And I found a deal for you where you can get three of the seven, I think it's 7.5 ounces, three of the 7.5 ounces for $22.93. And I believe, can you check and see if that coupon is still valid? There is a 20% off coupon on that right there on the palmer's cocoa butter so getting three for less than the 22 dollars you know these can these can be a little bit on the ex not really expensive expensive side but we know if you have used this product before you know how much it costs now you know on this product it claims to smooth marks and tone skin this unique formula melts into the skin creating a protective barrier that locks in moisture it's ideal for deep moisturization including overnight treatments it has pure cocoa butter and vitamin e Provides 24-hour moisture, fast absorbing, proven to heal dry skin, suitable for eczema-prone skin, soothes skin after sun exposure, smooths marks and scars, and paraben and, and some other word that I'm not going to take the time to learn how to pronounce. Not today, not on camera. Something free, paraben free. All right, so if you have used this product in the past, you know that it will have your skin glowing like like glowing like radiant and so this is why i keep one of i keep this as a staple in my beauty regimen or in my skincare self-care regimen the 20 percent off coupon i'm here for it i'm here for it grab you some the link is already up or in the carousel if you want to get it and again at the time of this video recording there is a 20 percent off coupon Go on, get it. Go on, get it. Shine up your skin. All right, so now, y'all, I got to talk about this face today. I got to talk about this face today. Okay, so 
first of all, let me put on my, my Vugme glasses. I need to clean them off a little bit. The Vugme oversized glasses, I have shown these to you before. They come in a little case like this or a um, bag. They come in a little bag like this. Inside the bag, you are offered this little ruler thing so that you can, you know, get your sizing straight if the frames need to be adjusted. Also in the bag comes, these are a couple of cards here, a couple of coupons and, and things like that. It does come with a cleaning or a polishing cloth. And of course, if you wear glasses, you know we, we need those. We be using our t-shirt, I, I, not we. Let me talk about me. I use my t-shirt, the hem of my dress and all of that to clean my glasses off. And it also comes with the keychain, um, what you call this? Tools to fix or adjust as needed. Oh, momento, oh, momento, while I. You said you have a glow girl. That's that Palmer's girl, that's that Palmer's. I don't have Palmer's on my face though. All right, so let me just clean my glasses real quick. Doo -doo -doo. la 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 okay oh look at my mason jar sitting right there so y'all i like that with this look mm -hmm. what y'all think i know i showed y'all these before but <laughs> i'm liking this i'm feeling my i'm feeling my look do y'all mind if i dance just one more time just one more time Okay, one more time, one more time, and then I promise I'm not gonna do it no more. Let me do my slow walk. My slow walk. somebody had said something i thought somebody had said that you know i already apologized to the girl so i don't have no guilt i thought somebody had said something that i don't look cute or something like that that ain't what y'all said okay I, i'm sorry i misheard i misheard so look me they have some really unique frames right and so this i have some other i ordered some other ones they're not here yet but i do like these they are they are very different than what i would normally wear um, but I do like them. They don't have medicine in them and I do need a prescription if I'm going to wear eyewear to see distance. You see me driving without my glasses, you know something is wrong, especially at night. Can't do it. Be done ran over the, over the curb, over the medium. Anyway, so these are the Vugme brand. Y'all take my picture. Y'all know how we do. Do a photo shoot. Go ahead. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Go and get another one. Put it in the comments. All right, that's that's plenty. If you ain't get no shot out of that, you you won't try to take my picture, and it's okay. You gonna want my autograph one day. All right, moving on, moving on. I did have on a mask tonight because we must remember that we are still in the midst of a pandemic, and we have to protect ourselves. We have to protect ourselves. So the mask that I chose tonight. But this is really just a mask cover because if you look real quick, real closely, you can still see my bright, shiny lips right up under this mask. So this is not a true mask, but this is a decorative mask, which with the sequins, the Choyu, Choyu Anti-Dust Face Bandana Sequin Mask, which I bought a few of these. This is my choice for tonight. Since I didn't have the bling on the shirt or I have, you know, the fake bling there, I thought I'd put it here. Okay, so this comes in different colors and styles. Do you have the color choices? The color choices are. The color choices are. You get blue. Blue. Green. Mm-hmm. Multicolor. Yes. Pink. Uh-huh. 
purple, mm -hmm. wine, yes. black, mm -hmm. sea blue, sea blue, deep pink, mm -hmm. orange, light shiny blue, mm -hmm. black, mm -hmm. white, mm -hmm. like a, a, a it's a pink, but it's like a tie dye pink. A pink, but a tie dye pink. Rainbow. Okay. All right. Then you get the purple glitter. Uh huh. White glitter. Uh huh. Neon yellow yes. glitter. Yes. Preach. Black uh sequin. Yes. Black and white sequin. Uh huh. And golden white sequins. And golden white sequins. So a variety of colors, right? But again, I want to say that this does all, it offers, you can see me right through this. I know y'all can because I can see me through it. I ain't got my glasses on. So this is not really offering you um, protection from anybody coughing or sneezing, sneezing or breathing or anything like that. This is very decorative. So, you know, use it up under your real mask. Don't just put this on. That's right, K. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Go on, hit the Ella Reese. Shine bright like a diamond, beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, oh. Shine bright like a diamond, beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right i wish i could sing y'all well i wish i could sing beautifully as beautifully as ella reese and other sing songstress that i know and gentlemen that could sing because y'all i would never shut up i sing the whole show all right so you do need a real mask under these so what i would recommend and i found these for you the uh the pack or the set of five lightweight unisex the black mask just the plain black mask to go up under here because this one is black now um they do make the masks in other colors but the pack of five is only 9.99 they are reusable you can wash them and put your put it on your face and then put your your glam bam on top of it you know sometimes you don't you don't want to wear a mask because the mask is just mess up your whole outfit you got to do it anyway now be responsible you don't want to um it don't it don't it don't it don't go with all the glory that you bring, but you still have to do it. So there's a pack of five for $9.99, lots of reviews, 7,400 reviews. <clears throat> um, and then pop your pop your your pop on top of it. Pop your pop on top. Mm, mm, mm. Pop your pop on top. Pop your pop, pop your pop. Pop your pop on top. Okay. I told y'all I'd be singing all the time. If I could really sing, I'd be singing and rapping all the time. All right. So my next item, y'all, still on this face, I have on the Tory Bell lashes tonight. All right. So you know that I have been trying lashes and mascara products. Let me come up real close so y'all can see. This is the Tory Bell boardroom lash. They are magnetic. I don't know if I don't know what I'm doing with the product. I didn't even bring it in here, y'all. It's over in the other room. Do y'all mind if I go grab it right quick with the lashes I got on? I'm going to just I'm gonna just describe it to you. I'm going to just describe it to you. So these lashes come with, um, as you can see in the link or in the carousel, they do come with a eyeliner, right? A liquid eyeliner and you line the top of your eye with it you do it twice and then you pop the lash on now I don't know I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly when I try these lashes but they don't hold for me they just they just don't hold for me um, I think that Tory Bell does have some good reviews and people that use them they like them I know in a previous show Ella Reese showed you hers and hers she wears hers beautifully and she told y'all that she wears hers to the gym and they stay on. So I'm thinking that is user error for me. I just, I don't know. 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 I, I'm going to practice a little bit more with the Tory Bell lashes. Right now they are $55. Hey, Star Michael, please go ahead and follow, please, if you will, sir. Or, or ma'am, I'm not sure which one. Please go ahead and, and follow. 
Yeah, so they look good. They, again, these are the boardroom ones, so they're not as dramatic. They have several pair. So if you like the super long dramatic lash, y'all know I have a pair that when I do like this, it reaches my eyebrow just about. Um, and then they have some that are understated. I like a, a natural um, look. I do not have naturally long, super curvaceous lashes. And so I am trying out some products, some different products that I see. They, these look good, but I don't think, if I went outside and it's a little bit windy, I don't, I don't know if these will hold on for me because mm -hmm. I, I feel like they're barely holding on right now. Somebody said you may need a primer on your lid. You could have oily lids. That could be true. And I'm glad you said that because that's a perfect segue to the next product that I want to share with you that I got in this week. So this is the Thrive Cosmetic, Cause, Cosmetic Mascara. Now, as previously said, you know, lashes, false lashes are not my first choice. I prefer a mascara that does you know, the lengthening and maybe the fiber extension and all of that. And so I saw a video posted somewhere where the young lady, she was putting on this particular mascara. And of course the lashes were going shoot, 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 shoot. And so when I got this, when I opened this up today, of course I want to try it right away, which I did. Let me show you the picture that's on the box. First, let me talk about the Thrive Cosmetics because it's cause, C-A-U-S-E, cosmetics. Not cause, but cause. So it says beauty with a purpose. For every product purchased, one is donated to help a woman thrive. Now I think that's a worthy cause because I'm a woman and I wanna thrive. Don't you wanna thrive? Of course you do. And this says liquid lash extension mascara, length plus volume, orchid stem cell complex to help your lashes grow. This is the picture y'all, this is the picture that that shows on the box the before and the after it's kind of it's kind of fuzzy let me see if i can bring it in closer for you so you see first you got the naked eye and you see the length of her lashes and then you see all of this volume and all of this length in the um top picture so that's what i was expecting the product to do take me from my my lashes sometimes just be looking like they're balled up in a knot this is what I was expecting it to do for my lashes. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So, I can't say that I like this product, unfortunately. It just did not work for me. So I shook it up like you do mascara and it feels good. It's nice and weighted too. It has 467 reviews equaling four stars. So I don't know if it's me or if it did, just did not work. So when I initially opened it up, you know how when you use a mascara product, it has like, you can feel that when you pull the brush out, it pulls through a little narrow opening that kind of takes the extra makeup off of the brush, right? If you know what I'm talking about, just go and say, oh yeah, I do. All right, so when I initially opened it up, I felt that pull. And so I put on the one coat and it I could see color. I could see the color of it, but I didn't really see this beautiful lash extension. So I pushed it back in and I put on a second coat. When I pushed it back in the third time, I felt that, that little narrow piece, I felt it push away. I felt it push away. And so then when I pulled it out the third time to try a third coat, now I feel it again. So now it's making me look crazy. It didn't come out like this. It came out like super glumpy. I mean, the whole brush was filled with mascara. It was covered in it. Now it's looking pretty clean right now. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm, we're gonna try it right here on camera. Oh, moment. Let me pull my seat up a little bit. Okay. Excuse me, Tori Bell. Excuse me. Excuse me, Tori. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boo. You ain't want to be up here anyway. You had told me earlier you ain't feel like dealing a dud in the night, and I try to make you do it anyway. 
All right, so here is my life. Uh, I need a mirror. Do we have that other mirror up here? It's crossed the way. All right, so let me just try my best to do it like this and put this on for you and see if you see any level of super extend. Now, it did coat my lashes, but I did not see any super extend. Got a little bit of extension right there. You see that one long lash? I see that, but I don't really see. It, it's not going up to my eyebrows like the girl in the... In the Y'all see a difference? Look one. Look two. Look one. Look two. Is it me? Hold on. Now let me dip it back in there. Get a little bit more. I do feel the thing pulling now. So I don't know what happened earlier. Ella Reese can tell you she was right here. It was just, it was full, won't it? Mm -hmm. It was just full. Full of, all of mascara, mascara all lipstick. up here on the wand and all of that. Somebody are, said they can see a change a little. A little. Somebody said you can barely see it. Okay. I, I was looking for this. That's what I was looking for. Y'all see her lash? That's what I was looking for. Okay, but let me let me let me do it again. Let me put a little bit more on. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Now I'm not looking in the mirror, so y'all be in my mirror tonight. It's not like a, a fake lash length. It's not doing what it's doing for the young lady in the picture. I got a question for y'all. When y'all put y'all mascara on, do y'all do like that? <laughs> do y'all do that? Or are you skilled enough to keep your mouth closed and put your, like this? It don't require opening your mouth. You can do it like this. You do you open your mouth when you put on your mascara? Uh huh. You do. Uh huh. See y'all. Even when I put on my lash. When she put on her lashes, her mouth open. She put on mascara, her mouth wide open. It don't even take that. Somebody said a little extension. A little teeny bit, right? But nothing like. And y'all see, I done stroked it on how many times? Enough? Mm -hmm. Don't y'all feel like I did it enough to get that? Super long lash look. So let me see if they open their mouth when they put on their mascara. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to do that. I want you to practice that skill, okay? Now, everybody's not good at everything. I'm not good with liquid with liquid eyeliner and liquid lipstick. I'm not good at that. I'll be drawing all over the place. I'm trying to get it against this white background so y'all can see if it's extending any. Now, I feel like I done brushed my lash 30 Somebody times. Somebody said after 20 coats. Yeah. I done brushed my, my thing 30 times. Now, I do think that it, it does something. I do think it does something, but it doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. Not for me. Not for me. So, I, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in, in the Thrive Cosmetics. I do see a difference. Somebody said they cover both sides, outer and inner, drying in between application. That's what I'm supposed to do. Do I, my whole eye be black. It'll look like somebody punched me. Then y'all be wondering what, what he did. Tell me some ooh, gay. Mm. Did y'all see Dilla Dud the other night? She was up there with a whole black eye. So I got to practice that. While I practice putting it on the down stroke and the up stroke, I want y'all to practice putting on your eye stuff without dropping your jaw. That ain't necessary. What you opening your mouth for? Just just tell me in the comments. Somebody said they do it does look longer, they think. Oh, oh yeah, a little bit, but not like the picture. Now I do see a comment that says, "I am looking for an e-bike." Number 1. I don't know what an e-bike is. Number 2. Crank up Dilla Dud music for me, please. About the middle of the song. About, you know, about the middle of the song. Crank up, crank up this just for you, Mrs. Mrs. Norman and anybody else. Hold on, hold on. Miss Norman, you're looking for an e-bike? I don't know what an e-bike is. But hold on, and hold on, and, and here we go, here we go. I said welcome to... Deal or dud, deal or dud, 
Deal or Duh, welcome to Deal or Duh with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Duh, Deal or Duh, Deal or Duh. Welcome to Deal or Duh with me, Kimberly. We ain't far enough in the song yet, y'all. No, we need to move forward a little bit more. We need to leave for. All right, all right. Here we go. Have to go back to the chorus. I know we gotta do it again. Welcome to Deal or Dud. Deal or Dud. Sing with me. Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud. Deal or Dud. Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Here we go. Now with your order, I would hope that you are pleased, but if you're not, y'all, please don't contact me. Here's the thing that you really, really ought to do. Just contact Amazon and let them take care of you. They take returns, they'll give you back your money. You're telling me when I can't do a thing for you, honey, because I don't work for them. I only work for me. And taking care of you is their responsibility, because Miss Norman, I'm like you. I'm a customer too. I shop from the same deals and codes that you do. And I don't make the codes, so I don't take requests. I don't make the codes, so I don't take requests. I don't make the codes, so I don't take requests. I'm so sorry, but I don't take requests. I don't even know what a e-bike is. I don't know what I'm looking for or what you want. I got to do some study and some research. If I bring you on the show, what you looking for? And I don't know, because I don't know what I don't know. And I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I don't take requests. But I appreciate you watching the show. Okay, so if I happen to find out what an e-bike is and then I see one that I want to purchase myself and, and sit it right there in the living room and, and try it out if it's a good product for me, I will certainly do that. And then I'm not going to remember who had asked me for, who said they wanted an e-bike? I'm not going to remember. Then I'm not going to know how to, you know, get a hold of you to say, oh, I got that e-bike that you want. I just don't take requests. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You forgive me. You forgive me. You forgive me. Please. I don't see you saying yes. Oh. But I'm just going to assume that you said okay. All right. Thank you. All right. What was a, this right here? I, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it because it's, I don't think you should return. Well, I, mean, I, I have mixed reviews. I'm going to try it a little bit more. I'm going to try it a little bit more and see if I can um, do what the recommendation was to do a coat and then wait a little bit. And I did read the, see if it had directions on the box on how this should go on. It says to you, start with the one at the base of your lashes and move outwards towards the tips. So it doesn't say anything about waiting or, um, you know, all of that. I think Miss Norman might have left the show. I think I might have offended her. I apologize. I don't take requests, y'all. Um, it don't say anything about waiting or anything like that, but I will try that and see if I get better results next time. Okay, my next item for you, I'm still on my face, is the Lip Bar Vegan Animal Cruelty Free Hot Mama Lipstick. This is a matte. Sometimes the matte is too, too dry for me. So I do like the brilliance of the color and I do like the staying power, but I always just put just a tiny bit of gloss over top of it to give me just a little bit of moisture. Not the gloss, not the shine and the pop, although I like that too. But sometimes the matte, it looks, if you wear a matte, you know it looks very, very stained. And then it's a liquid. It's not in here, it's over there in my makeup kit. It's a liquid and I am not good. I, I just don't have that skill. Y'all drop your jaw. I don't have a steady hand when it goes to doing the outline around the lips and all that and makeup be all down here and in the corners every single time. Every single time I put on lipstick and I do this, lipstick ends up on my tongue, right in the middle of my tongue. I don't know what I be doing. I don't be licking the back of my lips, but when I do that, it ends up on my tongue. So I'm gonna take some lessons about how to properly put on lipstick. But that is the lipstick that Somebody I am wearing. It's on your hand, don't get it on your shirt. See, y'all see, 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 what was I doing? Probably taking that mask off and all of that. Thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know that. Let them take care of you. All right, so here 
My earrings again are the Anne Klein Classic Silver Hoops. These are my favorite casual earrings. You know, the inexpensive ones. They are 22% off right now of the regular price of $18 at the time of this recording. You can get them for just 14 bucks. Yes. Some nice silver hoops and Klein. Mm-hmm. That minimalist that I like. All right, so on my lives, there is one particular young lady who always comments about my jewelry, the jewelry pieces that I wear. So I found some that are comparable to it. I could not find the watch, but she has often commented and said, oh my gosh, your jewelry is so pretty. These are David Yerman pieces and David Yerman is not found on, on Amazon, but I found some products that give you that same look at without the David Yerman price unless you got that kind of budget I'm not I'm not saying that you don't I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I'm just saying what I was able to find on Amazon that kind of looks like this if you like this style these were gifts to me but the young lady always comments on it and says your jewelry looks so pretty so the watch, I wasn't able to find a comparable watch, but I was able to find a bracelet that's very similar to this style right here. It has the clasp. I'm not sure how this one, the other one that I found for you um, closes, but it has the same kind of chain design with the gold, uh, I don't know what this is called, embellishings, links, what have you around it if you like that look you can get it i don't mind sharing the look somebody share it with me so and then the bangle bracelet the cable bracelet um, that has so, so many styles that were similar to this in terms of the end pieces some of them have stones some of them were rounded uh, the one i found for you is not this particular cone shape but it is a dome shape but still the look the look right and now i'm not a um a jewelry specialist that's not a jeweler jeweler I am not a professional jeweler. And so if you had on this UN by fashion jewelry cable bracelet, I wouldn't know. Who's going to know? They're going to know. Who's going to know? How will they know? How will they know? What's the music that goes with that? Jason walking music. Yeah. How will they know? How will they know? All right, so you got options. You got options. You can go high class. You can go less expensive. That fits your budget. There's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day, who going to pay that light bill? Mm. It's not going to be me, and it ain't going to be the person talk about something. You see her bracelet. It ain't going to be them either. So, you know, don't, don't feel pressure to come outside of your budget. Come outside of yourself. Be somebody who you're really not, not just in terms of jewelry, but just all around. Be yourself, because at the end of the day, who, who going to pay them bills? Who? Who paying your rent and utilities and all of that? Certainly, 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 certainly not them. So live your life. Live your best life. Okay, I'm off of that now. Let me go to my next product, y'all, which is this Z Group Women's Fashion Coat. Now, I did order this coat before, and I ordered it in black and I ordered a size large and it was too tight in the sleeves for me, but I really did kind of like the coat. So I have another one, but this one was sponsored. The, the um, seller of the coat actually sent me this one to share with you. Now, Penelope is standing over there with it on, y'all. Penelope, um, I'm going to go get the coat. I'm going to go get the coat, but she over there with my coat on because she liked to wear my clothes. So I'm going to go get my coat off of Penelope and I'm going to show it to you. Can I get my regular walk in music, my regular show music, please? My regular show music while I get this coat. Yes, that's the music y'all custom to. Give me just one minute. Penelope, give me my coat, girl. Hold on, I'm coming, see? I'm right here, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Get my coat. Take my coat off. All right, so this is the Z Group Winter Coat. And I thought the coat was very cute. Now this one is an extra large because the large was just too tight in the arms for me. Button it up with my broken finger. Give me a moment. Belt around the waist. Now I feel like the other coat that I had, this has one belt loop. 
loop right here in the back. I feel like the black one had two belt loops also here on the side. This one doesn't have that, unless I'm overlooking it. It doesn't have the belt loops on the side. It does? No, it's just the one. Okay, it just has the one in the back. That's a little bit odd to me. Normally, coats have the belt loops here on the side, so your belt hangs in the front. But anyway, you're able to tighten. Now, this coat is actually a little bit too big for me. It's very roomy inside, which is okay. That means I can put a sweater on underneath. All right, so let me back up a little bit. So if you're, it has two pockets here on the side. If you're living where it's still colder and you wanna bundle up, I think that this is a very cute coat. It does come in a couple of colors. Um, it does come in the black. It comes in this color. What, what are the other color choices? On Memento, while she pulls those up. It comes in black, mm -hmm. camel, navy blue, Red, yes. wine red, bronze with violet, green, cherry red, purple, coffee, dark brown, dark green. All right, so lots of color choices for you. It does have this little skirt look, like the two-tiered look, one here, one there. All right, you can cut the music, thank you. So to me, this coat makes me look a wider in the hips than I actually am, but it's okay. You know, cinch the waist a little bit, draw it in a little bit and get the look that I want. I really love this asymmetrical collar for this coat. So you see it has the three buttons here and then it does have, hold on. Yeah, it does have the buttonholes also on this side if you need to button up a little bit more. I don't want to do it because I have on makeup and I don't want it all around the edge of the coat, but this collar can stand up and provide you with some extra warmth, okay? So, this coat I think is a deal for me. I don't like like where the placement of the pockets are though because I feel like I have to reach too far back to find the pockets. The pocket is right here, like it's exactly on my side and I think normally for a coat um, it's normally a little bit more forward like like right here and not right here on the side so as I have tried the coat on and even with the black one when I had the black one I did return the black one because it was too small but even with this one or the black one I found myself doing that right there looking for the pockets because they're a little bit hard to find but they are there y'all think? They're loving it. I like this coat. A little bit wide in the hips. Looking like my grandma. You know, she gone away from here. But, you know, she was kind of wide in the hips right here. Hey, some things are hereditary. The hips are not that wide. This jacket does do it for it. Somebody uh, said, can you pop your collar? Pop my collar? Uh-huh. Okay. Like uh. that? That's what you want to see? Let me see. Y'all gonna make me put makeup on my coat anyway? Okay, hold on. Just for y'all. Just for y'all, ma. <sighs> all right, that's one button right there. I think that's really all I need is the one button, so. There you go. Yes, I, I like it. I like that asymmetrical. Somebody said another that's look. look. That's good. They like that other look with the pop Ooh. collar. Ooh. She said, yeah, sis. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. See, your executive producer got to unbutton this for me because uh, my fingernail broke and I can't manage with this bandit. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Whew. So, I feel like I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand. Here is my stop. When you get a little teapot, uh, 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 just tip me over and pour me out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I like the coat. Look at the sleeve length. It could be just a tad bit longer for me, but it's okay. It's okay with the glove. A little detailing here on the sleeves with the button and the little, little shimshinga. What is that called? A strap? I don't know what that detailing on the coat is called. The material feels kind of like a mixture of felt and wool, and I have shared that before when I showed the black one. It is not like a wool wool coat. Kind of feels like felt 
and wool. But for the design and the price and the um, overall look, the deepness of the pockets, the double breasted, it does need the two things right here. Maybe I'll just sew something on for myself. Yes. Those are called epaulets. They're called what? Epaulets. Epaulets. How do you spell it? E P A U L E T T E S. Epaulets. Okay. Thank you so much. I learn something new every day. I'm going to look that word up so I can get the proper pronunciation. Because there are no side belt loops, I have to put the belt in the pockets because I don't want to drag it on the floor on the back of the coat. Um, and again, the, the large was too small for me in the arms. In the body, it fit just right. It's too sm it, it was too small in the arms. This one is too big in the body. That lets me know that I would be able to comfortably wear this with a sweater. Y'all know I got on a t-shirt today, but if I had on a sweater, I would be able to fit this coat comfortably. And I think um, for me, I probably would wanna anchor the buttons a little bit more. This top button, it feel like it, you know, like it might not wanna stick and stay. It's not totally falling off, but it, I think it just needs to be reinforced for just a minute, for just a bit. So yes, that's the coat. I'm liking it, okay? That coat is a for sure you right on. For sure you right on? Mm, mm. All right, so that is that. You want my coat back? She ain't took a bath for nothing, y'all. Penelope got on the same clothes she had on the other night, but want to wear my coat. Got on the same dress. Mm, you know that is sad. Don't be shamed, Penelope. Don't, mm -mm, don't be shamed. Just put my, just, mm -hmm, just stay just like that. Thank you, boo. Thank you. I'm not even going to let her get on the show tonight. She ain't, got on, <laughs> ain't took no bath, got on the same clothes. So I said, I want that shirt. Jeans, too. The, the whole shirt. dang outfit. Go on and get it. Go on and get it, boo. We can be twins together. All right? They didn't stop making, stop making them when they sold me this one, so they got one just for you. The other thing that I got in this week... I really needed one of these. Now I did buy a, one of I did buy a crossbody bag the other day. This is a touchscreen purse crossbody bag that you put your cell phone in, and you, you know you can see your your phone. I haven't even opened it up. It arrived today, and I'm just gonna open it up right now. We are gonna see what we have. Okay. Don't 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 Mm -mm. All right, so here she is, everybody. This is the touch screen purse. This is the touch screen side of it, which is what attracted me to it. So, you know, if you're out and about, you don't want to carry too much stuff. Like, I don't, I don't like to carry a whole lot of stuff. I know I'd be showing y'all all these purses and things, but really when I get ready to just jet out the house, I want my wallet and my keys and my phone. That's it. This is uh, small enough to do that. So here is a standard iPhone. What kind of iPhone is this? The 11 Pro. This is the 11 Pro. So you put your phone in there like that and it is covered up. Keep in mind we in the middle of a pandemic. So this probably works well with that. Let me see. So there is the phone there. Um, there are phones that are bigger or what have you. My phone is in a whole auto box. I feel like it will give me plenty of room for my auto box. Here is the strap to make it the cross body. I ain't took my shoes off y'all. So I'm working tonight. I'm working with these shoes. So here is the cross body. It has this flap here to close the purse. And on the inside, it's just very narrow. You got some slots in there for your cards, if you can see that. And then enough, enough room for your keys, your money, your cards. This part is not very wide at all. Just enough room for what you need to carry, what I would need to carry. Credit cards, driver's license, debit card, credit card, driver's license. And then cash and keys. On the back side, I have my phone. I do like this situation right here where you don't have to take your phone out. What I gotta push on your phone? Just the screen, home screen. Side All right, so it did come up. Let me see if I can scroll up. Hold on, y'all. Hmm, no, this her phone, not mine, so I have to try it with my own phone. 
All right, so there it is. And it did let me swipe up. So, yes, this is a deal. This is a deal. How you, um, you know how you be trying to use your phone and it don't do what you want it to do? Here, work the phone for me. Work the phone. Show the people some features. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was trying too hard, trying upside down. All right, so you can control your phone right through the bag. You know, when we um, are out in these stores and things like that, not doing it. Okay, when we're out in the stores and these things like that, we have to be also sensitive about germs and things getting on our devices. So you clean your phone with your Lysol wipes that you got the other day or for a good price and put it on in the bag. And then when you're out and about, um, I guess if you're not making a call, uh, you don't have to take your phone out and you can control your device. Now, I am wearing the Apple Apple. Uh, airpods thank you i am wearing the apple airpods tonight so i know some kind of way i don't know how to use this product for real for real i only use it for the show i don't even allow myself to take them out the house because i like to use things lose things i like to lose things but i think if somebody calls you you can kind of tap on it or something and answers the phone is that right yes you can do like that and it'll answer the call for you so again you don't have to take your phone out this is a deal for me um, the price on this was $13.90. Hmm? $13.90. $13 I think it came in a couple of colors. The colors are... <clears throat> Here's your phone. They come in black. Black. Brown. Mm -hmm. Gray. Mm -hmm. Khaki. Okay. Navy blue, mm -hmm. pink, and red. All right. So it comes in a few colors for you to um, choose from or why choose? Get them all if you want to. Match all your outfits to it. But this is a deal for me. I'll put my phone in the Autobox case right up in there and I don't have to pull my phone out and then if somebody call me, they're just going to have to wait. I can't afford to take these out the house like I, I did take them out yesterday because I had to go to the dentist and they had to do a little bit of drilling and filling. And I, you know, just wanted to listen to a good book while the lady was digging around in my mouth. And guess what happened today when I was looking for them? This was yesterday. Today, when I got ready to do the show, I'm like, oh, where's my iPod? Where's my earpods? Where's my earpods? They're not on the desk where they're supposed to be. Forgot all about that. I took them out the house, so I'm not allowed to. I got to use the little cheap pair to go out the house with all right so let me take this off this is a deal for me there's right. a promo code okay uh my next item my next item is the kung fu tumbler uh sock gift set i have shown this on the live before but i wanted to bring it back because there is an active promo code for it that makes it 9.95 so you can click on the promo code link it this one says not a day over fabulous that's me i'm not a day over fabulous i'm never going to be over fabulous i'll always be fabulous I don't care if I'm 164 and a half years old. I'm still going to be fabulous. Not a day over fabulous. It did come with a pair of socks. And again, I have shown these before. The socks are nice and cozy and pink and fluffy. That says, if you can read this, please bring me some wine. And so I am loving this set. You know how you have something real good, you don't even want to use it. You just want to let it sit in the house and collect dust. And matter of fact, I had a conversation with somebody. I'm going to stop doing that. So y'all remember on the last live, I was telling you about the pearls, right? And I said that I had some real pearls that were given to me on my wedding day by who is now my ex-husband and how I have not been able to find them for many, many, many years. And so I called him, like I told you I was gonna do. I was a woman of my word. I called him today, or was it yesterday? When did I talk to him? Mm, I think it was yesterday. I called him yesterday and I was like, hey, would you happen to have my pearls at your house that you know I haven't been able to find? And he said, mm, 
No, I don't think so. I'll take a look around and see if I see him. And he's real neat. He's a very neat person. Everything in its place. Here's this where this go and that's where this is at. So I knew if they was over there, he would know it and he would know where they were. So he said, I'll take a look around, but I don't think they are here. And he looked around and looked around a little bit and looked where he had like, you know, our wedding photos and stuff, you know, stuff from when we were together. And he said, if they were here, they would be right here with these, with these things. And I don't see them. So I said, okay, thank you for looking. But then we got another conversation because when we was married, right, I had bought this really expensive watch for him as a, maybe a birthday gift or anniversary gift or something like that. A really, really nice, really expensive watch. And he still has the watch. And even when we were together, he never wore the watch. I mean, he would wear it very, 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 very infrequently. And I would always try to get him to wear it all the time. Like, bruh, if I knew you was going to wear the watch one, only when people die, which is, he even said this on yesterday when I was talking to him and asking him about my pearls, because, you know, just in case, I even asked him, did you give my pearls to your new boo Jack? You, you, does she got my, because if I, no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, I will share with him my philosophy. He has the philosophy of when you have something really, really, really nice, you save it for a special occasion. And I'm just totally opposite. If I have something really, really, really nice, particularly if it was a gift, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to wear it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to wear it until I wear it out because I want to get the value out of the product. I don't want it to just sit on the shelf and just collect dust in a drawer. Said all that to say, I'm going to stop. This this ain't even nothing expensive, right? This is $9.95 with the promo code. Um, and I'll put the promo code in the in the comments. Um what is the promo code, matter of fact? What is it? It is it is XB. Hold on, y'all. X. Whoops. X. D. Y N. D. Y N. Eight F. Eight F four X four X. All right, that makes that product nine ninety nine nine ninety five at the time of this recording. Now promo codes and prices they change all the time. So if you go to get deal and a deal gone, it's because you just simply waited too long. All right. So anyway. I had this whole soapbox speech about, you know, living in the moment and living until you die and not putting things up for a special day. And if you got it, go on and use it because I really feel like I wasted my money. And he could be saying the same thing. I wasted mine too. You don't know where the pearls are right now. And then I have to say, you know what? You got a good point. At any rate, I don't have the pearls. He ain't wearing a watch. He still got the watch. And I said, go on, wear the watch today. Why don't you when you go and play golf? And he was like, eh. No, I mean, I do wear it, but it's like when, this is what he said, like, you know, at a funeral. And I was like, dang, my watch reminds you of death. Anyway, different different conversation for a different day, but I'm just, I'm just going to buy me some pearls. All right. So that's this, that's, that's this right here and the socks that go with it. Now, the other day, the other live, I showed you my mason jar, um, I got the mason jar right here, but I thought my senior executive producer was going to give me the mason jar that had some juice in it. She done brought me an empty one, y'all. She done brought me an empty one. She going to get it. Y'all see her sneaking by? The, I was going to show y'all that I had used the jar for the purpose. Of, this this, this what she prepared for me. I'm grateful because she could have said, pull your own show together. But today... Okay, so when I showed y'all these jars, it is a set of eight. Thank you. It is a set of eight jars. Okay, hold on. Let me get close to the camera because she's trying to sneak by. All right, so it's a set of eight mason jars, right? And I told you the reason why I wanted to get these mason jars is because I like to make my own lotions and butters and stuff when I feel inspired. I don't do it all the time. As, as a matter of fact, I do it very, very rarely, but when I do do it, I want something to preserve. So I was looking at TikTok. I told you the other reason why I want to get them is because I like to make my own juices and stuff. So I bought these and then I was watching TikTok and the woman was talking about something called Ju Juma, Juma, Jama, J-A-M-U, J-A-M-U. 
you a, uh, I don't want to call it a potion. That make it sound witchy. Um, concoction? I don't want to call it a concoction. That make it sound crazy. A mixed drink? A a smoothie a, mm, a beverage that you could make anyway so this morning i was like yes i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna make this jamu juice so this has turmeric and ginger i had to take the turmeric and you know cut it up and take the ginger a, th a finger full of ginger half a cup of turmeric a finger full of ginger and you cut it up and put it in the blender with four cups of coconut water and you blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it for about 60 seconds and then you simmer it on the stove for about 10 minutes and then you add a pinch of black pepper she said and then once you did that you added lemon juice and you added two t a tablespoon of honey but i put in two tablespoons of honey because i wanted to make sure it was a little bit sweet for me and you're supposed to drink this and it's supposed to i'm not a doctor i'm not a doctor i'm not a doctor Please check with your doctor, your physician, listen to your own body. I'm not a doctor. Please do not take medical advice from me. And I should not be taking medical advice from TikTok, but I did anyway. Well, it's not medical advice. It was just, you know, a little drink. And then you um, put the lemon juice in it and you strain it. And then she said, if you drink a shot of it every morning, wet or warm, I'm wet or warm, <laughs> warm or cold is supposed to reduce inflammation in your body and so look at my mason jar y'all with my juice in it that i made this morning tore the whole kitchen up knives cutting board blender after i put it in the blender i put it in a ninja after i put it in a ninja i put it in a bullet because i just wanted to make sure that it was chopped up real fine that's three appliances that i use after i did that i had a pot then i had to put it in a the pot then i had to get the strainer then i had to strain it into a measuring cup then i had a measuring cup and then you're supposed to store it in glass and so my glasses came perfectly at the perfect time i am using them i did drink my shot of it i'm probably going to do it two times a day she ain't say to do that but you know i ain't got to do how does she do i can Michelle do my said, own what's thing the ingredients again the ingredients was a half a cup of turmeric a finger length that's what she said and she used her index finger we well, all have different size fingers so i mean mm -hmm. a finger length of ginger and then you put four cups of coconut water. You put it in the blender and, you know, let it blend. She said 60 seconds. And then you add a, a pinch of pepper, she said. And then you add lemon juice and one tablespoon of honey, she said. But I added two because I'm extra like that. And plus, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. She ain't my mama. She don't know where I live. She can't chastise me. Even if she did, she would have to get checked. I could have... Why is dripping? Because I'm talking about the lady. See? See? I don't... Why is it dripping? Is it hot to cure? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what what I did in a couple of minutes. Let me stop talking about people. That'll fix it right there. Is this she? Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. So, Ella Reese done found a lady on TikTok, done found a recipe and all of that just that quick. So, I guess if you look on TikTok, the woman is a doctor. She is some type of doctor. Anyway, you do all of that, mix in the lemon juice, mix in the honey, and then you strain it. And you put it in a glass container and you drink a shot. I don't know how much a shot is. A shot like two ounces. I think a shot is two ounces of beverage. Okay, you drink a shot of it in the morning and it's supposed to reduce inflammation in your body. So I'm going to do that because I just know I need to. I know I need to. Okay. And the jars did come with labels. You see, I haven't used my labels, but I know what's in there. That's the only one that I have used. It comes with this little pen, so you can mark on the label. So maybe your thing is making fresh juices. Maybe your thing is making butters or lotions or potions or what have you. Um, yeah, all of that. You got something to store your stuff in. So again, the mason jars were a deal for me. I am glad to have them. 
All right, the next thing that I got in today, y'all know since it's been a, a pandemic, the world has gone crazy or here in the United States, we was just crazy for toilet paper. And I think that that part of the pandemic is over. But when it started last year in April, I did not suffer any kind of toilet paper loss because I ordered this seventh generation toilet paper. It was like a box of 48 rolls for $27 or so. The price has varied. I do have a business Amazon account, so sometimes I get business pricing, um, but it was 28, 20, 48 rolls. I got some in today. Hold on, let me grab them. <clears throat> All right. Uh, oh, e, oh, e, oh. Came in a big old box like this. Four packs of 12 rolls each. And, um, you know, I had enough toilet paper all last year. I ain't missed not a, a single, a single uh, visit to the ladies' room. Not even the ladies' room, my own room. Because I, I, I have my own bathroom. Hold on. Oh, oh. The box is glued together, y'all. All right, so four packs like this. Now, before the pandemic, this was not my brand of choice. It just wasn't. You know, I had some other brands that I favored, but I've been buying this for almost a whole year now. For almost a whole year. I think the price is good. The, the quality of the product is good. Didn't run out of toilet paper not a single time. Had some to give away to some of my friends that, you know, found themselves in need. I was like, girl, I got some. I'll bring you some. Or come out, drive out of the house. We can go get, we can uh, run the house, get you some. Had some to share with several people. So this is a, this is a good buy for me. I probably will continue to buy this brand because... It is a quality brand. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it, again, it's not what I prefer, but I done got used to it. It's a, been almost a whole year. And um, it show up on the doorstep, just like I like. It show up on the doorstep. Last year, we didn't care who brand of toilet paper we was using. Some of us, as long as we could find some. And so, yeah, Somebody that's said that. Somebody disinfectant spray is good also. Who? Somebody said their disinfectant spray is good. Okay, their disinfectant spray. I hadn't tried that product, but... I shall. Thank you so much for that recommendation. All right, so next, y'all, I just want to share with you again. Oh, 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 oh. That was, close, that was close. I shared with y'all that when I take my makeup off, because some of you ask makeup questions, this is what I use to take the makeup off of my skin. The Dr. Bronner's uh, Regenerative Organic Coconut Oil Virgin Unrefined Whole Kernel. This is not makeup remover. I just prefer this. I prefer this on my skin. And I prefer, I told you I have one in my kitchen, one in my bathroom. So this is a brand that I use. I just take some, scoop some out with a clean spoon, put it in my hand and I rub my hands together and I just put it all over my face. It breaks my makeup right on up. Now what started me doing that is at my church, I used to mine. And if you have ever done that, you know that clown white makeup is real thick and it's very hard to get off, right? And so at our church, we had a gentleman who was a professional clown. That's what he did for a living. And he asked me about it one day. He was like, how are you taking off your makeup? Because I mean, you know, I'd be scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing myself and the other young ladies that would uh, participate with me. <clears throat> Our face all raw and irritated. He said, all you got to do is get some baby oil, put the baby oil, pull it in your hand, do like that, and put it on, and it breaks it right on up. And it surely did. Now, I don't use baby oil, although I think it will do the same thing, but I like the coconut oil over the baby oil. That's just my choice. And I do like the Dr. Bronner's brand so this is what i use this is a four oh this is a 30 ounce um jar here but i like this product i like this product as a food and i like it as my makeup remover it removes very easily my makeup removes very easily and it took this off this is a mascara that i was telling y'all you know I'm, a, I'm disappointed with this 
it did come off very very easily with the coconut oil now i was talking to a young lady last night she said she used rubbing alcohol to take her makeup off i've never heard of that nor do i know how effective it is but she said that's what she uses um, and then I think she also has some other kind of makeup remover because she mentioned it to me before. And I was like, mm -mm, I'll just use my coconut oil. Thank you. And it's effective for me. And I have to tell y'all one more time that I am loving this right here. The uh, Clean Skin Club Extra Large Towel, Face Towel. And again, between this, boom, and this, boom. Taking my makeup, taking my makeup off like I'm going to do in a few minutes is super duper easy. That breaks it up. I can wash it with this. Even like when I am um, rinsing the makeup off of this to go for pass number two, it rinses out of this very clearly. I did put this to the test last night because it says on the box, um, the clean towels are gentle on your skin, but are durable enough for any use guaranteed not to tear or shed. So I did, you know, yank on it to try to see if it was going to tear up or if it was going to shred up and it did not. So it generally takes me about maybe three passes to make sure that my face is, you know, really clean. It did not tear. It did not shred. It did not fuzz. It didn't do any of those things. My face is clean. And then this goes in the trash. The one little one that I use, I get to throw it away and I'm done for the day. I think that's my favorite part. And then I'll have a ton of dirty washcloths stacked up in the bathroom. All right. Y'all know I cannot have a show without showing you the goalie gummies and right now on amazon they are deal of the day so if you hurry up you can get these for 30 percent off for 13 dollars and 30 cents normally they're about 19 dollars a bottle it says 18.98 in the carousel but right now on amazon you can get them for 13 30. Mm -hmm. bam y'all know i love it y'all know i love it because i keep telling you about it these are my favorites these are my favorites. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Every single show. Every single show. Y'all know what? They 30% off right now. Get your own. This is like Doritos. Y'all remember that Dorito commercial? <laughs> what a um, what a man came over to date the date the girl, the woman, and the woman had a little son. And he sat the man sat down in the living room. He started eating the Doritos, and the little boy he looked like he was about five or so. He slapped the man and said, "Don't touch my mama, and don't touch my Doritos." Y'all remember that? <laughs> It was like a Super Bowl commercial from, from years ago. Anyway, I love, love, love. Thank you, Tanya Covington. That's my mama last, my mama's uh, previous name, pre-marriage name. Um, what am I trying to say? Maiden name. We probably cousins, Tanya. Sis, somebody said, got him today. You're going to have to gift her some. Uh, uh, got him today. I'm going to have to gift her some. Okay. Because I, I, I did get order some more, and I got three more bottles in today. I'll give her some since you told me to do that. I'm going to give. I'm going to give. Let me see. This one I open yet yeah, here. Don't you ask me for no more go. go. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. She does a great job as a senior executive producer. It's the least I could do is to offer some goalie gummies, especially while they're $13.30. Let me go on ahead and order me a couple of more because they really, really, really are good. Okay, and then, of course, in my background, because sometimes y'all have these background questions and compliment me on my decor, which I greatly appreciate. Can I get my outro music, please? Mm -hmm. You see the um, the pillows that I have are this pillow covering. Um, so it's not a pillow. It's just the case that goes around it in the turquoise. There are several colors that it comes in, just not this turquoise color. Behind that pillow... Behind the turquoise pillow is a big, white, shaggy, fluffy pillow. So I've included that tonight in the carousel or in the link. So if you want to grab 
those pillows maybe you got some other color combinations or uh, you know whatever you want to do the pillow is normally $55 $54.99 but right now it's 29% off and you can get it for $39.17 $39.17. All right, so I do love the pillow. Let me grab it real quick so you can see the size of it. I think it's 24 by 24, but let me let me go grab it right quick. Good night. Thank you so much for watching.